Hello YouTube, I'm Toby. Do you want water cooling, but can't afford it? Well, I have the solution for you. Learn to manage your money and save up for water cooling, because this project is dangerous to uh, electronics. That being said, today's project is converting a blower style air cooler into a water cooler for your GPU. The card I'm working on is an old Radeon card. Uh, I cannot remember the exact model, but from my, what I know, uh, this thing sucks, so it will not be a big loss. I started by disassembling the card. I then mixed some epoxy and filled in all the uh, potential leak spots. Even the plastic shroud got epoxy around the edges. The screws uh, for the shroud were also dipped in epoxy, uh, just to make sure that they would not leak. It goes without saying that locking the screws with epoxy pretty much means that it will never come apart again, ever. To make sure the water would not go everywhere, I used the garden hose as the intake and the outlet. I used a lot of epoxy to make sure that it was probably sealed. By now the project looks like, uh, well, I can't really explain what it looks like. I had to modify the intake a little bit uh, to allow it into the computer case. Now I started by testing my uh, water cooler inside of the system. Uh, do not do this and you will soon learn why. Although at first it seemed to work well, uh, how it soon turned, uh, turned ugly. I had to go and do some things and when I came back something had failed. I ripped the power cable from the socket and removed the card for further inspection. And it seems that the bend around the inlet had failed, uh, let's take it outside. Ah yes, just as I expected, the bend had failed. Uh, it turns out that not only the bend had failed, but the inlet itself had failed as well. This is not too much of a problem, I believe it is easily fixed. I started by gluing the uh, bend with super glue. I think it re the reason it failed before was because I did not use enough epoxy. After the super glue was added, I have I gave it a thick layer of uh, hot glue uh, just to make sure it stays in uh, one piece. The inlet got some super glue on its surface to help the uh, new epoxy layer uh, to adhere to it. Time to try and <laughs> put it all back together again. This time I mixed plenty of epoxy, uh, I don't want it to come apart again. I then added said epoxy, all of it. I connected the inlet to the pump and the outlet that went into the bucket as well. This time it's a proper loop. Switch it on. Ah, success! This time it actually seems to hold. Uh, I have to say that I am happy. Uh, this line looks like water but it turns out to be epoxy that missed its target. I made sure to send my success to my friends via Snapchat. The computer I used for the first time seems to be drying nicely. I managed to cut the power quick so it should be fine. Honestly this is not the first time this computer gets wet. I have tried this once before with a CPU block. Unlucky however, it seems that some of the little components from the PCB have come loose. So there will be no benchmarks of this card. So to conclude this video, the water loop was a success, uh, since the water is running through the block and the PCB is still dry. The card did die though, but this was probably just my rough handling and not the water. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.